What up YouTube, this is uh, Carl Brooks, uh, Detroit Love, and I got my modified Galaga complete. Uh, I just need to get the power switch hooked up, um, but it's, uh, it's good to go. So you can see here, uh, I went with the adding two extra buttons instead of five extra. Uh, and that works for gameplay for just about all of the games, so that's not an issue. Uh, the issue, however, is because I don't have those extra buttons, there's some some settings I can't get to. Uh, I can't, you know, get into save state and things like that uh, because that that button's not available. So that so that's not good. So I'll have to I'll have to add some buttons at some point in time um, but I borrowed the the concept from uh, I think his name is Falcon arcade Falcon because I, I forget offhand where on the one player cabinet because it's rare that you'll have you can't even have two people playing at the same time I just made the button two as the credit button or select button and this is the start or player one button. And so uh, I'll put the video up probably I'll put the video up probably tomorrow of the um, the steps as I went through it. Um, so these two buttons I just pressed these two yellow buttons. So these these yellow buttons are the stock buttons. This uh, joystick is a uh, Sanwa joystick and these joystick these all three of the red buttons are new buttons as well I wanted to keep the uh, the fire emblem there let me switch cameras can I switch cameras without stopping yeah here we go all right turn this guy off So, I wanted to keep the fire emblem there and keep this as the fire button. So I've had to program that to button B. This is button A, this is B, and I believe this is Y. And I chose Y over X, or it could be X, I can't remember. I, whichever one this is, I chose it because most of the games was using this particular one. Um, I had it the other way, and then I couldn't... Uh, play certain games that use three buttons it's not a whole lot of games I've found so far that uses three uh, but there are some so if I push these two buttons they'll exit the game back to the uh, last menu so I have reduced the games to 53 so there's still like 2200 games on here but I have this in kid mode, which I I created a video previously that said this should be your normal mode. Because in this mode, if you hit the uh, menu button, it only allows you to change the volume and to quit, shut down, or restart. So, no one can come in here and delete your games or mess up your settings, and, and that's a good thing to have. Uh, so, 53 games are available and I'm going to have to reduce that to my favorites. So I'll add, so favorites is probably gonna be probably 15 games uh, tops. So if I look through this list, get to the top, uh, you can see the, the games that I have on here. Just go through here quickly. You can pause and rewind and do all that stuff. But these are the games that are on. So the ideal is that I set all of these to be kid. That way they show up in this mode. And then I'll select the ones that I really like to play. and Put those in favorites and I'll have it boot up to favorite. That way anyone turns on the game they will get to that smaller list of games and then they can back out 
and go to the other games. So right now, favorites is, it says three available. Not sure how that's possible. Oh, okay. So right now, I just have these three in here, and so I'll add the other ones. And that's the problem too, by not having these the extra buttons, I can't just hit the Y button or whatever to take, add, or remove an item from favorites. So not having all the buttons there is presenting the, to be a problem. And so I, I don't need to, goodness, let's get out of there. I don't need to have the buttons necessarily here. I can put the, the extra buttons up here or there or put them even down here and not make them coin buttons. But if I put them here, people are gonna think they're coin buttons. So then I'll have to do something different. So I may just stick them off to the side up here in the corner and those are only be for special use buttons. Uh, they wouldn't be used normally. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, but otherwise it looks good. I did get a scratch right here. I have the same speaker, similar speaker. I have a monitor speaker that I have and it gets pretty loud. And it's similar to my one I have here on the uh, Street Fighter, just a different color. So it has the light indicator, has the volume control, you can power it on or off. And this this is a bracket that normally would mount to a uh, monitor. I think I'm just going to break that off so it's smooth there. Um, but when you're playing a game, sitting up or uh, sitting down or standing up on either one, you you don't see that speaker. And this one kind of blends in, minus the light. Uh, everything was Velcroed on. Um, yeah. So there you go. So I'll have the how-to video coming up pretty soon. Too tired today, so I'll just uh, probably do that tomorrow. All right. Until next time, I'll see you on the web.